Hey guys, what's up? Bossman here, and today I'm going to be showing you a pretty neat glitch in Fallout 3. It's going to let you get to the max level uh, in about 10 minutes. Um, but first off, I signed into live today and start up Fallout 3, and it turns out that I think they've already tried to patch this. There's an update out for this game as of today. When I saw this, I just declined. I suggest you do the same if you've already updated your console, you go to the dashboard, go all the way to system settings, go to memory, hit Y, and there should be an option there that says clear cache, and you just hit that and it erases all the updates, and you can do this glitch, so that was the first part, um, now let's get down to the tutorial. Okay, so first off, what you're going to want to do is find the Helios 1 power plant. It's a little bit north of Novak. Um, you find Novak really early in the story, so just fast travel to Novak and then look around and you'll see a really tall tower off in the distance and that's it. Just head over to it. Okay, so once you found the Helios 1 power plant, work your way through the plant until you get to the back where there's the, these two scientists uh, just standing around. One of them's a fucking retard. Yeah, the dude with the red hair, he's fucking retarded. Just ignore him. And then this guy right here, he's the it's one that, that, you're gonna wanna, that you're going to need to talk to. Um... If you talk to him a little bit, he'll tell you that he's a follower of the Apocalypse or whatever the crazy little cult is called. Um, and basically what you want to do right here is side with him. Make him your friend for later on in the quest because he's going to be the experience whore. Um, make sure you talk to both scientists. Um, talk to this guy twice. Talk to him now, then talk to the redheaded dude. Then talk to him to this guy again. Uh, get all the information about the quest you can out of them because I didn't and I went along with the quest and it made it really hard and I had to hack a few computers when this guy could have just given me the password. Um, so yeah, once you talk to him, just keep on following the quest. It's really easy. And then uh, I'm just going to jump to the next part where you need to pay attention. Okay, here we are. We're almost done with this quest. What you're going to need to do right here is repair this generator. You're going to need a repair skill of 42, I think, and some scrap metal. Um, once the generator is repaired, you just walk up to the mainframe, trigger it, and then make sure that you select the fifth option. It should, um, should say something about the system being unstable if you select it. Select that, and it'll give you a warning sign. Ignore it. Hit B, and then go up these stairs. Just follow the stairs and until you see a door back here. Don't worry about the little robot. I don't think he's hostile. Um, walk through the door. And then... It, de it depends on what time it is. Uh, in order to activate this next part, you're, you're going to have to wait until between 9 a.m. and 6 p.m. Just wait any, any time between, you know, between those hours and you'll be able to activate this little console. The idea is, is to activate during peak sunshine, seeing as this is a solar powered plant. Um, so as you can see it's nighttime out here. I just waited. Um, wow, my PC's lagging. I wonder if the video is going to be like this. Uh, anyway, yeah, just wait until after 9, before 6 p.m after 9 a.m. before 6 p.m. and then walk up, activate the console, and everything should start shining really bright. You won't be able to leave this area for, you know, 30 seconds, but once your vision returns to normal, the door will be unlocked again. I don't know why they unlock, why they locked it in the first place. That was fucking stupid. But, yeah. That's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to jump again to the next part we need to pay attention. The good news is though that uh, the hard part's done, you just gotta walk all the way back through that, uh, through the plant. Okay, and we're almost done here. Uh, this is the glitch part, this is the fun part. Uh, right now I'm gonna show you my stats. As you can see, I should be level 3 or 4. Um, my base stats, strength, agility, luck, that shit's all, uh, all 10 because I modded it, but whatever. <laughs> um, just the, um, Fuck, I forget what they're called. The other stats, the fucking repair, explosives, that that, that kind of shit. Those uh, those are all really low. And see, what you want to talk to him about is right there. Tell him that you overloaded the plant. He gives you 350 experience, three stim packs, and two doctor's bags. 
every time you do this and you can keep on doing it over and over and over and over. I got to level 30 in like 10 minutes. It, it wasn't even that long. Like other glitches from Fallout 3, like I remember the, the one from Big Town, it took you like three or four hours of constantly fucking farming XP to get to level 30. Um, here, it, it takes 10 minutes. It's fucking ridiculous and uh, I'm... I'd be really surprised if they didn't patch this in the, in, the, uh, in the update they just released. So just keep on talking to them about this over and over and over again. Um, you can do this for as long as you want. I just did it until I stopped uh, getting experience, and um, I'll cut to the part where I'm level 30. Okay, here we are. Um, this didn't take very long at all, and I'm going to show you my stats now. I, I'm level 30. My barter skill is 100. Speech is 100, repair should be 100, close to 100, something like that. Um, explosives is pretty high, medicine is pretty high. Uh, basically, all the all the shit that that's important is <laughs> I maxed out, um, and I have 500 stim packs and like 300 medical bags. Uh, I, I have so, <laughs> so many stim packs that I'm over encumbered and I can't I can't run. Um, if you had the patience to walk all the way back to a town, you can sell those uh, those doctor bags for some pretty decent caps. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys.